Hi, I would like to show you how to use Git and GitHub for this repository and uh, NL SAP uh, postdoc and PhD day in 2001, April 19th. So I'll be going to do what we'll be doing in the workshop, which is we'll be um, getting this repository on our website, uh, on our local hard disk, modify it and push it. That means put it online back again. And they're going to start from a fresh account without any tricks. Also, the, the, the nodes here are a bit sloppy yet, but that's good enough for now. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to clone this repository. We're going to bring this thing online. So usually I just copy the word here. And then in a terminal, I write git clone. I paste the repository and I got it on my computer. If I do ls to show the files, I see that there's a folder created with that GitHub repository. I'm going into that folder with cd, which means to change directory or ch which means to change the folder. And if I do ls, I see all the files uh, that I expected. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to modify the file and then try to upload it. But there will be two step. There will be at least one step um, that is that you only need to do once. So let's do it. So I'm going to edit README, so I can do it from the command line. I use mousepad, but you can use notepad or get it or Emacs or V or whatever text editor you prefer. I use mousepad here. So I'm going to edit README. So uh, here you see it is, uh, so here you see the file. And I'm at the bottom, I'm just gonna write uh, test. I save it, so here you see a star, which means it's edited. So if I modify the text, you see a star here to show it's edited. I save, I close, and now README is edited. If I open the file again, for example, at the bottom, I still see that the word is there. So now it's on my computer and I wanna push it online. I wanna share it with my friends. First step is git add dot which means all right, all the files that are changed, I'm going to um, uh, publish them uh, all at once. All right, so now all the files are bundled in this commit, this change. And now I'm going to name, give a name to the commit. It's the bundle of files is called the commit. Um, added trivial text to indicate what I did. This command fails, and only this will fail the first time you've done it. It says, please tell me who you are. Uh, and those are two lines. So I'm going to run the first one. I just copy paste it, but I do edit it. So my name is email is Richel at richelbilderbeek.nl. This should be the, uh, the uh, known by GitHub. So my username is my GitHub username. Um, if you use your regular name, like uh, for me it would be Richel Space Bilderbeek, I'm unsure how well it works. I know definitely know for sure that this will work. So this thing, what we tried to do is a commit has failed because it needed to know who I was. Now I can add this trivial text. I can add this commit now. And now I can publish it by doing a git push. If you do a git push, it will ask for your GitHub username. I have that one. And that will ask for my password. Well, my password is a bit complex, so I'll just cancel this. And I'll use a way to uh, get my password on my clipboard. Uh, just copy it. I put it in plain text for now. So it's on my clipboard now. That means I can just paste my password. So I'm going to push it again with my username, with my password, done. I pushed it. I can check this by going to the website. If I do a refresh now, you'll see this is my commit. And this is how you do a push. All right, so that was this video. I wish you a very good day. Bye.